president of operations for SeaWorld Orlando, Rob McNicholas. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the coaster capital of Orlando. Before we begin, I want to thank those of our military, past and present, who serve our great country. This Memorial Day, we honor your service. So our guests, our past members, elected officials, community leaders, and members of the media, thank you for being here today as we officially open Pipeline, the surf coaster. Pipeline joins our amazing portfolio of attractions as our seventh coaster. It joins Mako, America's number one voted coaster. Manta, the only flying coaster in Florida. Kraken with its seven powerful inversions. Journey to Atlantis, a fun water coaster for the family. Icebreaker, a fun family launch coaster with a 48 inch height requirement. And of course, Super Grover's Boxcar Derby for the little ones. Give it up for Super Grover. But this one here is different. It's cool. As you can see the train behind me, it's sleek, it's strong, it's powerful. But why is it so cool? It mimics the motion of the ocean. You feel the power of the waves. When you launch, you're standing but soon you will realize you're surfing. Only at SeaWorld Orlando can you surf at 60 miles per hour. You'll go 110 feet in the air on our hammerhead wave. Your surfboard will go upside down in a maneuver meant to mimic an alley-oop, which is known in the surfing community. But what really sets this ride apart is its five airtime moments. But they're not normal airtime moments, they're prolonged airtime moments. And that's due to the unique first of its kind seat design, which allows the seats to rise and fall two inches in each direction. The wave time, airtime motion is ridiculous and is the coolest experience I've ever had on a roller coaster. Truthfully, but you'll see it for yourself soon. At SeaWorld, we combine real and amazing. And with that, we're proud to partner with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Foundation with the goal to educate and make a difference to inspire those to protect the Florida coral reef system, the only coral reef system in the continental United States. So with that, please join me in welcoming Michelle Ashton, Communications Director for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Foundation. Good morning, my name is Michelle Ashton and I am honored to be able to represent the Fish and Wildlife Foundation of Florida this morning. We are the state's largest conservation organization. Since our founding, we've raised and donated more than 66 million to projects across the state. One of our main priorities is restoring corals Florida's reef, which is under many threats, most recently from stony coral tissue loss disease. And we couldn't think of a better partner in our work than SeaWorld. For years, they've been um, instrumental in helping us rescue and restore coral at a facility just around the corner. And we're excited to see their work grow here on site. And what a better opportunity to highlight that work than this incredible roller coaster. So just more and more thanks to SeaWorld for allowing us to join in their work. And we hope you get to learn more about Florida's coral reef and then ride this incredible ride. Thank you. I'm proud now to introduce SeaWorld Orlando's park president, John Peterson, and Orange County Mayor, Jerry Demings. Good morning. Michelle, thank you very much. The foundation has been a great partner of SeaWorld's. Um, Rob says this better than anybody. This ride is incredible. But this ride speaks to SeaWorld in so many ways. It speaks to what we do here for our guests, our our staff, everybody that comes out to have fun with it, but it also speaks to our mission. And SeaWorld's mission, along with the foundation, have partnered together to help the coral reef 
Um, if you don't know the coral reef story, SeaWorld's gonna help you understand that story. We actually will be opening a rescue center for corals that our guests will be able to go in and talk to the experts along with the foundation. So super happy about that. I also wanna thank the mayor today for coming out. Um, here in Orange County, putting up a new coaster and having the mayor along with the other elected officials and partners here in Orange County is really excited. SeaWorld is truly, truly honored that the mayor's here and also that we're able to put this coaster into your county. So, mayor, thank you and we appreciate it. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning to all of you. This is a great day here in Orange County at SeaWorld as we uh, help Christian this brand new pipeline to surf coaster ride. I know you're looking forward to riding it. So am I. I'm joined today by my colleagues from the Board of County Commission. The District Commissioner here is Commissioner Michael Scott. <laughs> Commissioner Myra Uribe. <laughs> and Commissioner Maribel Gomez Godero. <laughs> One of these. A bonjour. And good morning to all of you. We're really, really excited about what this means. SeaWorld has been a wonderful partner in this community now for 50 years, having opened their doors in 1973. Since that time, 4,600 employees are contributing to the vibrancy of our community. Uh, SeaWorld helps to contribute to the 74 plus million people who come here to our community to visit on an annual basis. And uh, more importantly, uh, I think the story doesn't get told very well about the more than 40,000 marine animal rescues they have done over time. Thank you for what you are doing to make the world a better place. And so today I'm going to ask uh, my banner to come forward uh, to help me with doing a proclamation and presentation. Uh, this is Ms. Cassandra Mate, uh, the CEO and President of Visit Orlando. And so let's see if we can do this. I'm going to read this proclamation to you. And it says, Whereas SeaWorld Orlando opened its doors in 1973 and is a world-renowned theme park that offers a variety of exciting and educational experiences as well as thrilling rides. And whereas SeaWorld Orlando is continually seeking new innovative ways to thrill and delight guests of all ages with unparalleled experiences. And whereas on May 27, 2023, SeaWorld Orlando will debut its newest attraction, Pipeline, the Surf Coaster, the world's first surf coaster. And whereas SeaWorld's Pipeline, the Surf Coaster will take riders on an exhilarating journey through the world of surfing. And whereas the state-of-the-art roller coaster will allow riders to experience the thrill of surfing the waves without having to set foot in the ocean. And whereas Pipeline, the surf coaster marks the seventh coaster at SeaWorld Orlando and provides a unique and unbelievably real experience for riders of all ages. Now, therefore, I, Jerry L. Demings, by virtue of the authority vested in me as Orange County Mayor, do hereby proclaim May 27, 2023 as Pipeline, the Surf Coaster Day in Orange County, Florida, done and ordered this day and signed yours truly. All right, thank you all so much and have a wonderful day. Have a great ride, everybody. Well, it's Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial beginning of summer. And there's no better time to come to SeaWorld than this summer to experience Pipeline, our amazing attractions, our animal encounters, our summer celebration with an all-new indoor show and the returning of Ignite. But let's get this started. Are you ready to ride? Yeah! 